Hello learners, welcome to Python Revision Tour Session 4. In this class, we will revise different types of program flow of execution in Python such as sequential flow, conditional flow and iterative flow. So let us quickly proceed to our class. Flow of execution. As we know that a program is nothing but a sequential step-by-step -step instruction which follows a specific logic to solve a particular problem. When a program is being parsed or scanned by a compiler, these logical paths are traversed and the code logic is executed in the same sequence as it is met during this traversal. These paths of execution are sometimes called as control flow or flow of execution. Hence, the flow of execution of a program means different paths in a program through which the logic of a program may proceed through. Sometime a program may follow simple straight path of execution and in some other situation it may follow one of the many alternate path of executions or many times this flow of execution may become repetitive. It is essential to understand that all programs do not have same type of logical flow. Let us see these flow of execution in more detail. As you can see that the flow of execution may be categorized into three groups sequential, conditional and iterative. The sequential flow is the most basic flow of a Python program where logic of program flows from top to bottom in a linear or sequential manner. That is to execute any nth step all the n-1 steps before it has to be executed. The conditional flow gives a program a branched facility of execution. That is, the program will have many paths of execution and not just one single path. And out of those many paths of execution, a particular path is chosen based on outcome of a logical condition in terms of true and false. It is just like that you, your school fees is calculated based upon your gender, student category and service category etc. And that is that not everyone's fees is calculated in the same manner. Finally, the iterative flow of execution provides a program an opportunity to repeat itself a number of times before it gets terminated based on a failure of a specific condition which was triggering the loop. This type of execution of statements are also known as looping. To understand flow of control here in this class we will take help of two python modules that is turtle and random module. The turtle module will enable us to draw something on a screen and the random module will help us to generate random numbers between a lower limit and upper limit. We will discuss more about modules in detail in coming classes. For the time being, you just understand it's that a module is a collection of ready-made piece of code called functions, which has certain specific tasks to perform in a program. Also, do not worry if you are not understanding turtle and random modules at this point of time. So let us first understand the concept of sequential flow by observing a code example. So today we are going to learn about how to write a sequential program uh, using Python idle and uh, this program will show you how the Python program executes sequentially 
line by line after one another and uh, what we will do in this program is we will try to uh, make a equilateral triangle using turtle module of python so uh, let us begin with so first we have to import uh, the turtle module so import turtle this is the module which is responsible for all the functions and uh, necessary you know, turtle procedures so first you have to write import turtle module import turtle and then again uh, we have imported the turtle now the first thing we have to do is we have to start the turtle screen so to start the turtle screen we have to write turtle dot uh, forward we have to move that turtle forward and just to move it uh, uh, just to just to begin the turtle at a particular fixed coordinate will we will fix the distance as zero as a parameter so it will start the turtle graphics and you can see here this 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 arrow is this small arrow um, resembles one turtle uh, okay so uh, you can you can also change the icon of this arrow to uh, to a turtle icon we'll see that later on on next video now next uh, let us come to the thing next now we want to draw a equilateral triangle right starting from here so what we have to do is first we have to move now this program this needs a stepwise instruction to this turtle so what to do is we first will move this turtle around 60 degree so to to move this turtle around 60 degree we have to type the command turtle dot write 60 so this will move the turtle to 60 degree then next uh, thing we have to do is to move this turtle 200 cm away from the current position so what we have to do is we have to type turtle dot forward again forward is to move forward and we will pass parameter 200 meters so it will it will it will move to 200 meters you can see that line is drawn then now we have to move again to make a equilateral triangle we have to move this turtle to the right but again uh, at a degree of 120 degrees uh, since it has to be drawn equilateral triangle so from the current position it has to be moved to 120 degree so that it becomes uh, uh, it makes 60 degree angle with the um, present line present inclined line it makes 60 degree angle so for that we have to move this turtle position up to 120 degree so we have what we have to do is turtle we to write turtle dot right again we have to move right so we will write we are writing 60 again in place of 60 we have, will write 120 degree and this will move the turtle to 120 degree now what to do we have to move forward so turtle dot forward and this will move the turtle again uh, 200 meters say because equilateral triangle has all sides equal so we have to move again 200 meters only so 200 now again what to do is the same steps the turtle dot right again we have to move right and that too again we have to type 120 degree angles so now the same step it will be repeated for the third side of the equilateral triangle so forward and then we have to write again 200 meters so this completes the equilateral triangle so you have seen writing a sequential program writing a sequential instru instruction to the compiler to the python compiler it you can you can make the task go okay so this is uh, about me using the turtle to make to write a sequential program thank you program was a perfect example of sequential program where we were able to draw an equilateral triangle following six sequential step as explained before you on your screen it keeps it is to be kept in mind that these steps must be executed in the same order as it is mentioned in the program code now let us understand the conditional flow of execution through another coding conditional program and this can be done in python i will show you one demo regarding this in which we have used turtle module and 
um, random module to uh, give you a glimpse of what is meant by conditional programming. So let us begin. Let us go to the file and from there, uh, from the idle, we will create a new file and here I will start writing the code import turtle then we have to import random module also here in this code then what we will do we will just take a variable x and what we will do is we will generate a random value so for generating a random value first you should start a seed value a random seed value should be done and then we will take we will generate a random value and store that value in a variable called x so random dot rand int that rand int function is a random function which takes two parameters 1 and 201 so it will generate a value between 1 and 200 and it stores it into a variable called x so now what I will do is I will check this thing meanwhile I'll, I will also start the turtle module so turtle dot turtle dot forward uh, 0 and here what I will do is I will just write if x is even so to check even we will write this expression later on in the course you will learn what this expression means actually so if x is percent 2 equal to equal to 0 then turtle dot right the turtle will turn right by x and it will also move forward by x similarly if there is else means if it is odd the number is odd then the turtle will move turtle dot left will move left by x as well as it will move forward by x so we are not sure about where which way the turtle will move it depends upon the outcome of the value of x because it is generated randomly so let us save the program and execute it and see uh, how does the turtle moves so saving it so we are saving the program by a name called random movement random turtle move dot py so by default it is python save so our module name is random turtle move so just closing it out random turtle move random turtle so I, what i will do here is i will import random turtle the file name should be written here random turtle move and see what happens it goes like this say for example again if I am writing the same line of code to execute it once again so import random turtle move now you see Turtle move. So there is no absolute movement. So what we will do? We will just uh, close down this idle, and again I will run the program, the same program, and see the outcome. So let us let us close the idle for a while. Uh, quitting the idle, I will restart it again. And again I will write random turtle move 
import random total move so import random total move m is capital now you see the turtle has moved somewhat in a different direction to the left because the outcome of the random number is quite different in this case so depending upon the random generation of number the turtle will either move to the left or it will it may move to the right so like that we can we can we can uh, we can condition our program we can put conditions and based on those conditions the outcome of the of the result of the program may differ so now let us make a small change now in our program what we will do is i'll just open up the file once again once again i will open up the same file and i will edit something some code over here what i will do is i will again write this same same thing and i will repeat this thing over here in this file only so what i will do is i will again write this thing four times so that we could see the result number of times by running the same program we don't have to go back and again import the module so now let, i have pasted it four times and let us let me let me show you how it executes so i will just save the program then now let us close it out now again i am writing i will close the idle because it has imported already so what i will do is i will just uh, close the idle once i will restart the idle and now let us import it once again import random turtle move turtle move now let's see what's the result now in this case now you can see that uh, the turtle has moved four times and it has moved randomly uh, sometime I mean, the first movement was towards left the second movement was again towards right, right again it was moving left again it moved right again it moved left uh, right so it is a random movement based on the condition whether the random value is odd or even if it has moved to left or right so thank you for the session so the previous code example was a perfect example of a conditional program where the direction of turtle to right or left is controlled by the random number generator if the random number is even the turtle was moved to its right else it was moved to the left so here we observe two branches of execution one execution path leads turtle to move to the right direction and the other execution path leads it to move left thus this type of program situation where we have more than one path of execution out of which one is being chosen based on a specific condition is known as to be conditional program now let us finally understand iterative flow of execution through a code example so dear students today we are going to have a look on iterative program an example showing how the iterative program works on python an iterative program follows the steps of execution repeatedly so here in this program what we will do we will use the turtle module to draw a circular path followed by a turtle repeatedly increasing the radius of the of the circular path by a fixed centimeter so in this program it the pattern will be drawn like that a turtle will start from a particular circle and in the next cycle when it will again start to draw the circle it will increase its radius and likewise the circle will grow up and this will be repeated for 30 number of times say so let us begin our program let us write our code uh, quickly we will open the idle interface and we will go to the file option from here we will select new file now we'll write our program so first we have to write import turtle then what we have to do is we will just uh, simply 
declare variables there are two variables we have to declare so what we will do we will declare a variable called radius and initialize that radius to say for example 10 now the starting radius is 10 centimeter for the first circle now let us uh, draw the turtle let us draw a circular path using turtle repeatedly for that what we have to do is we have to start a looping construct in python so for itr itr is another variable which is for iteration in range 1 to 31 and then turtle dot circle to draw a circle we have to write we have to use circle function circle and here we have to pass the radius parameter so instead of writing 10 we will pass here the name of the variable radius and after this step what we will do we will increase the radius after completion of one circle it will increase its radius by say for example 5 centimeters so radius is equal to radius plus 5 and again it will go on like that now let us save this program let us save this program with a name let us save it with a name called circle pattern dot the py file is there the file type is py so circle pattern save now let us uh, execute this program we'll close the program and we will write here import circle pattern now see the execution step the circle is being drawn continuously you can see that increasing each time when the circle is starting afresh it is increasing its radius and the circle is drawn likewise this will go on for 30 number of times as we have we have written in our code that the code will execute for 30 number of times each time a circle a new circle is drawn increasing the radius by 10 centimeters so this is going to happen 30 number of times let us wait for the last iteration So here it is, it has a stopped after drawing 30 number of circles, it has a stopped. We can, you can see that the innermost circle is having 10 centimeter radius, then next circle, the next outermost, next outermost circle was having a radius equal to 20 centi 10 plus 5, 15 centimeter, then again 5 centimeter increase, likewise it will go up to the last circle, the 30, 30th circle, right? So 30 into 5 plus 10 that is the biggest radius we have from this point from the starting point so uh, let us let us concentrate on the code now we'll again go to the file and open the code so that we can we can we can observe what is actually happening behind the scene the code so uh, let us go to the code let us open the code circle pattern and see the important aspect of it now you can see here this line is very important this line this particular highlighted line is very important because here is what we are doing uh, iterative programming right we have applied the iteration over here the, the the keyword for is used for the iteration you will see this particular construct in later uh, syllabus later videos you will be shown how to use this particular uh, iteration uh, construct in python so don't worry about uh, that for the time being we'll see that in the next coming upcoming tutorial videos thank you
numbers program a number of circles with repeatedly increasing radius was being made with each iteration or loop in the program this repetition of task ends as soon as the radius reaches to a value more than 30 so here we observe that a set of program logic gets repeated in the program for several number of times before termination of the program based on a particular condition thus the program situation where we have repetitive work to perform again and again comes within the category of iterative flow of execution the explanation is shown on your screen you can go through it so to understand the thing in more detail so here comes an assignment for you to look upon and to solve there are various situations given here you have to group them based on category of sequential or conditional or an iterative program you may send your answer to our Kaisala group so that it may be evaluated. So that's all for today. See you in the next class.